annoying piece on my hair. My hair is just driving me crazy, guys. Like, actually driving me crazy. What's up, everyone? So, I have been getting so many requests lately. A bunch of emails on my fan email account and just a lot of tweets, actually, asking how I got started on my YouTube channel and kind of just tips and tricks on being successful on YouTube. And I remember back when I was starting my channel that I would actually search for these types of videos because not that like I went into it being like, I want to be successful, but more just like I wanted tips through other YouTubers experiences. And there wasn't a ton of videos like this. I feel like I could be that person that I was searching for back then. And if I could help you guys out in any way, that makes me happy. I think the number one rule for me before starting out a channel is do it because you like it, not because it's the trendy thing to do or all your friends think it's cool and you think, okay, well, I guess I want to fit in. So I'm going to start a channel because that's not what you want to do when you're starting a YouTube channel. You want to do it because you love it. And if you don't love it and build an audience, they're going to be able to tell and they're just not going to be interested because they're going to see that you don't really like it. Number two would be do videos that you like making. Again, don't make videos just because they're popular, because you want to get more views, because that's not what it's all about. When I started my channel, I didn't even know that what the whole community was about. Like I literally did it because I loved it and people made fun of me for doing it in my real life. Like everyone made fun of me, but I still did it because I loved it and I made videos because I love them. If there's a trend going around and people want me to do it, but I'm not interested in it, I won't do it. And I usually tend to do videos that I like watching. Like I love watching get ready with me videos. I love watching um, hair tutorials. I'll just make them and vlogs. Of course, I'm obsessed with watching vloggers. So um, I have a vlogging channel. Now, the third thing I have to suggest is if you're getting more into the whole like business side of YouTube, which I actually didn't even know existed when I started my channel. A lot of people still don't really know too much about it. You guys know that uh, YouTubers tend to promote different brands and you know talk about different products and stuff to show you guys and there are different companies that will reach out to me and ask me to promote so-and-so or promote this and promote that and they'll send it to me to test out and you guys know that I'm always 100% honest with my opinions if I don't like something I won't mention it in a video because I'd rather just not talk about negative stuff and if I do like something then I will tell you guys about it because I actually enjoy it and would purchase it myself. If you're finding it like hard to contact companies or you're not getting as many companies there's actually this thing that I discovered quite early on I think I had around like 20,000 followers at the time or 20,000 subscribers it's this company or this platform called Grapevine and they kind of act I think the closest thing I could say is like they kind of act as your manager so or like your agent if you were an actor so basically they have like content creators which are the youtubers and then they have like the brands and like the companies that are searching for a certain type of youtuber to do um, a brand deal on their product or whatever so what grapevine does is they will be in contact with the brands and then they'll contact the um, the youtubers or the content creators of who they think would suit most to this brand or if they're interested in them or what this brand is looking for so they'll contact them and say hey so and so is looking for a specific video talking about this product would you be interested and then um, if it was me I would say well I want to know more, more about the brand blah 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 and then if I liked what they were you know talking about and I think that I would enjoy the product and that I think you guys would enjoy the product then I would say okay like have them send it over and then uh, Grapevine what they do is they contact the brand, they get all the information, they kind of send it to me and they kind of act as, like I said before, your agent so they they kind of are like the mediators between the two of you and um, they're actually able to get you work that you wouldn't be able to get on your own, let's say, because you are new and you are starting out and I think it's just a really great idea just to kind of like get your name out there because Grapevine will actually promote you to the different brands as well and um, that actually helped me a lot so I think that if you guys are looking into starting a channel you are already doing it because you love it you're making videos that you love um, and then you want to start getting more into the business side of it that's when you would come to Grapevine and they would help you out in that sense and they really really did help me out like I, I actually found that they've done so much for me and another thing that's great is that like let's say the brand did send over something and I actually didn't end up liking it like I was like nope it's not for me 
Um, I don't like this product and obviously I'm not going to make a video about it. So Grapevine takes care of all of that for you and you're not forced to have to do anything that you're not comfortable with. And you, they always make sure that like you're comfortable 100% with doing something. Let's say it was like Forever 21. Forever 21 wanted me to mention this hairbrush and said that this hairbrush did this and this and this. So the first thing I would do is make sure does this hairbrush do that and that. Oh, it does. Okay, so I'll talk about that. And it really does work. And that's the thing is that like, you can tell when a YouTuber is not being honest. You could tell when a YouTuber is doing something for money. You could just tell when something is 100% sponsored. And that really, I guess, bothers me in some ways. But when it comes down to it, um, Grapevine, at least in my personal opinion, it could be different for other people. But um, I just found that it wasn't that way with them. Like, they make sure it's all like... It's all in your court, kind of like it's what you want to talk about, it's how you feel about the product. So, I don't know, I think it's a really great idea if you guys are starting out and wanting to get more in the business side of things. If you're curious at all, I'll have links down in the description for you guys to check out because um, on, on the website it gives you obviously way more detail than what I'm saying right now, but that's just another thing to look out for. And then another thing that's kind of in that realm would be like a network. A network is something that you sign with. So you were to sign with a network and they kind of do the same thing whereas they like help get you work, but they also help get your name out there. And I think like that's the biggest issue with people that want to start YouTube is that they don't know how to get their name out there. And that was like, I think one of the things for me, I was like, what do I do to like promote myself? How do I make myself stand out and bring viewers onto my channel because I don't know how to do stuff like that. And um, they kind of help in that sense. So joining a network early on could help as well. These are just options for you guys. You don't have to follow these steps at all. This is just kind of what worked for me. Um, so if you if you know someone that is successful on YouTube, but then do these, like that's, it's not like a step-by-step -step thing, like you need to do these things and you will be successful. Like these are just tips for you guys that have worked for me. But um, another thing I would have to say, um, tip number five is be consistent. Being consistent is the most important thing. I tell this to my sister, to Karina, to Catherine, like I say, I tell everyone, I've even talked about it with other YouTubers and stuff that being consistent is like probably the most important thing because you're building that connection with your followers. You're you're building that like trust with them that they know that you're gonna be there every single Wednesday and Saturday at these certain times. Like that's just the days that I upload. But um, they know that they, they have something to look forward to. If you kind of upload here and there every few months, you kind of get forgotten and you're gonna see like the subscribers are gonna start falling and they're just gonna be like your your channel's dry like I'm not I'm just not interested and I think that being consistent is so important because you you keep on top of things I guess that they just like look forward to your videos and it kind of builds that connection in that way another tip I have tip number six is this six now what are we at I don't know <laughs> But another tip I have is to get your viewers involved because that builds, again, it's about building a relationship. This is a two-way street. It's not just about me. I like to do things that make you happy. But I like to do things that make me happy, but I also like to build a kind of relationship with you guys because I feel like we all are friends if, as weird as that sounds because right now I am just talking to a camera, but I know that you guys are going to be watching this. And for me, it's just like, oh, I'm just gonna be talking to my friends later today. And then when I get to read your comments, I don't always get to reply to the comments because um, I get busy, but I do read every single comment and I see every single tweet. I see every single comment on Instagram, guys. Like, And it just makes me feel like we are friends and it makes me happy because, I don't know, I think the internet's a wonderful place for this kind of stuff. That's why I do like, every single month or every other month I'll do like a Q&A video because I like that I ask you guys questions that you want to know and then I answer them and it's kind of like getting to know me on a more personal level and I think that's like really important when you're building a channel you want to get more personal with your viewers because that just helps you be more relatable I guess because there are youtubers out there that are just very like talk 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 you know like they have like points and it's I don't know for me I like to be more like I, I like to feel like we're actually friends and I like to feel that you guys are here with me and I'm talking to you guys right now, as weird as that sounds. But yeah, that's another thing that I'd have to say. And another just tip is just making sure that you have 
time put aside to film and edit your videos because if you're going to be sticking with a schedule, you want to make sure that you take time out of your day sometime during the week that you film your videos and that you have time to edit. What I'll usually do is I'll film like a few videos in one day depending on what kind of videos I'm doing. And so I'll be like, okay, Tuesday of next week is my filming day and I'll film all the videos that week and then I will edit a little bit afterwards or the following day. And another tip I have, and I don't know if everyone does this, I know that the people that do YouTube around me kind of do this, is I upload them as a scheduled upload. Um, let's say I, I upload every Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and every Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So let's say I'm uploading Saturday's video, I'll upload it on Friday as a scheduled video for Saturday at 10 a.m. So that way it goes up exactly at Saturday 10 a.m. And I don't have to be like rushing like oh my gosh my internet's work not working I don't know how to get my video up. Oh my gosh It's gonna be late like and stressing about that because I like to keep it on certain times So I just make sure that I upload it beforehand and that way I don't have to worry about it I know 100% it's going live at this time and that just makes it more organized I'm just a very organized person. So that's just kind of like what I have to say about that So I think those are all the tips I have if you have any other let's say you're a youtuber and you're watching this um, let me know if it helped you in any way if you have any other questions feel free to leave them in the comments down below because I don't know I feel like we can help we can all help each other out so that's honestly all I have to say if you're interested in starting a channel go for it don't let anyone tell you it's weird or it's uncool if you like it do it who cares what people think that's all I have to say also I need to stop touching my hair I have this weird habit of always touching my hair I need to stop because it's it drives me crazy when I'm editing my videos and I'm I apologize to you guys if it drives you crazy crazy if it drives you crazy when you're watching my videos because it definitely drives me crazy so if you did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up because that means a lot to me and subscribe for more don't forget to check out all the links down below in the description and i will see you all next week bye guys